We're with Rob from Basin Tackle, and he's going to show us how to clean a clam and get it ready. All right, folks, this is a gaper, um, also called an empire or a horse neck. This isn't the only way of cleaning them, but this is my way of cleaning them. I don't like eating the nasty stuff inside, so I take all the guts and everything and I throw it out. This unit has two hinges, one here and one here. Here's a clam that's already been opened, and you can see those hinges, and they're, they're a muscle. It's almost like a scallop, and then they're really good eating. I like staving those. Take a knife, something like that. I like a thin, uh, non serrated blade, something about three, four inches long, and go inside that clam. And what I'm trying to do initially is cut one of those muscles. As soon as you cut it, you can tell because the clam opens. It doesn't have that hinge anymore. I work along, disconnect all that tissue, cut the other side. At that point, I throw away that shell. Now, don't be creeped out when something starts crawling out of it towards you because every gaper or empire or horse neck has a pea crab living inside of it. And that's a female. A female will live her life inside this thing. And I don't know exactly what benefit the clam gets, but she gets a free house. When you have that top shell removed, those two muscles cut, you grab the neck of the clam and pull it out. And if you do it just right, you leave those two muscles we were just talking about. And I put that aside and get those out later. Now, this is the bladder of the clam. And it's hilarious because when you pull this thing out, the first time you get one of these, and it's a, it looks like a chunk of meat about four or five inches across. But when you go and actually get the clam, there's almost nothing left to it. And that thing uh, fills up hydraulically, and that's its anchor. So when you start grabbing that thing and pulling it out, that's the method he used to hold himself in. So I cut that off. That's a, a good piece of solid meat. And I take all the rest of that nasty business and throw it away. So I'm left with the neck. Now the end is a very calloused, discolored, and you can see that, there's old dead skin and stuff on there. I take that and cut that back about half an inch. This incidentally makes really good bait. So if you're going out for perch, if you're going for stuff off the rocks, you can take that, put that on your hook, and fish just love it. Now, there's two siphon tubes inside this guy. There's an intake and an output, and at least I think that's how it works. You take your knife, you slice the long, you open it up, you get that first channel. You take that knife again, slice along, and fold it open like that. You kind of butterfly it. There's a couple little organs there, I like to get rid of those. Rinse it off in the water. You hit that tap for me. And that's what you're left with. Now you want to get this skin off. The skin is nasty, it's tough, it's bitter, there's nothing good about it. And what I do is I put these all in a bowl, I put them in my sink at home, and I turn the tap on as hot as I can. It's not boiling, but it's scalding water. I let them sit for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then that skin just peels right off, and you're left with a beautiful, solid white piece of meat. I take a meat tenderizing hammer, I pound it out, and personally, I like to cut strips of it, dredge them in corn flour, and deep fry it. Uh, another option is just grind it up, again, with a brown off, and make chowder out of it. In fact, that's what we're doing this afternoon. And that's my way. Not necessarily the only way or the best way, but that's my way of doing a gaper clam. I hope it works for you guys, too.